Amazing, amazing run from, from, from Spy, wasn't it? Let's uh, go to the Colonel. Kevin, hairs on the move. Hairs approaching. Off and racing and a good level break. They pile towards the first bend and who's going to get there? And it is uh, Muscari Messi with a slender lead there from Black Rose Puma. Then a gap back there to three, stress impact. Then the jolly May Stardust, about four lengths off the pace. Then six and five in Indian file in between the last couple of bends. And Black Rose Puma for Sir Eric comes to the final bend. Up to the one, another win if Eric Cantillon. Black Rose Puma pounces on the line. One back in second and three, stress impact book for third. One for Eric Cantillon, it's trapped to Black Rose Puma. Dave was right to take on May Stardust, who, to his credit, he's lost it here, hasn't he? Just coming out awkwardly, stumbling. Yeah, the four dogs are a young dog, August 12, and, and that sort of comes with the territory in, in back in the young, dog, young dogs, but he's clearly not, not run his, his kind of race. You're looking for him to be out on the skin uh, in front. But uh, two Black Rose Pumas tumbled down the, uh, the grades and finally found an opening. Once one come off the fence down the back to... Uh, Put the foot down and uh, off he went. Off she went, sorry, Pat. Yeah, one, well, I say down in class. Uh, our money was done after about five yards, wasn't it, with uh, May Stardust? But just interesting to see that five and six never really had any trouble in the race, but they've been beaten a long way. So I would imagine the bookmakers would be thinking there must be an inside bias here at the moment. So it'd be interesting to see how they price the races up going forward.